Hi, y'all. Have a cup of tea today. I thought I'd tell you a little bit about my book, the one I unboxed the other day. This tea is called Cinnamon Spice. Um, it's the closest I got to pumpkin spice. I want it to feel like fall. It's 81 degrees. For Houston, Texas, at this time of year, that's pretty good. And I don't, there isn't any storm in the Gulf, <laughs> which could happen in September, and it happens often, but I just like a little fall, so I think I'll just taste it. Now my DNA, my book, I unboxed it the other day, remember that? Thought I'd tell you a little bit about it. Um, I made my family tree, and I, um, thought, well, the next step is go get a DNA test and watch it all align, right? I got my first DNA test and it said Scandinavia. And I was in a hotel room and uh, on a little trip and uh, I opened up my phone and no French Canadian. I look down the list from Scandinavia all the way to the bottom and I'm like, oh no, now I have to start all over again on this. And I laughed so hard I think they heard me downstairs. I was rolling around the bed laughing and laughing. It's, <laughs> I wish I had a video of it y'all because nobody else is opening their DNA test and look like that. Oh, I thought, oh no, now I have to do this all over again. <laughs> and um, then later on I started to freak out a little. I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> Maybe I got some really, really shocking news here. Um, all I knew was that um, my dad had done the family tree and didn't go back very far. Didn't get far with it. But he said that we were three-quarter French, uh, one-quarter Irish. <laughs> and I, I believed it for years. And you look in the, the documents and online, and it sure looks like it, especially among my grandparents. And um, so I, uh, I didn't know where to, where to go with this. <laughs> And I asked them questions, and everybody got edgy and stuff. I'm like, oh no, <laughs> what's happened? And and I decided later to get another DNA test. Because I didn't know then you just get one and you just upload the information to the other, the other um, test. And so I took a second one. And it didn't look at all like the first one. And I'm like, oh no. Apparently it depends on who takes the test, okay? So they're different. And how much French Canadian did I get in that test? On the first test? Zero. How much did I get on the second test? Zero. I'm like, this is not going well. They're holding on to their story about French Canada, and I knew my mom was an immigrant. <laughs> uh, she came as a little girl in, uh, in the 1940s, and I'm like, now what? It, the second test had matches, so that helped, except they didn't have any way of identifying any anything. I didn't know who these people were. I don't know my second cousins. I don't know my... I don't know any cousins in Canada. <laughs> I just live far away. Down on the Texas Gulf Coast. Where it's 81 degrees. <laughs> and I'm sipping tea. Hot tea, that is. Anyways, I um, finally got a third DNA test. I looked through it. And what did it say? Zero Canada. I'm like, no way. But matches were in Canada on the two tests that had the matches. I'm like, well, this is promising. <laughs> maybe maybe there, there is Canada in here somewhere. At the bottom of the test, it said 
French Canada that goes way back to the beginning of Canada. I'm like, I'm talking 1600s, y'all. I'm like, well, it matches a tree. Because <laughs> that tree goes way back to French Canada, but it has 151 years missing in the middle. I'm like, oh boy, now what? <laughs> So I um, started looking. I took the names from my tree and I would enter them into the computer and I would scroll down until I found a place. And then I would just screenshot it or write it down. And I did this with everybody on my tree. And what I found was sat there in Canada and these other places. All of the places in the DNA test. So anyways, that's my story. And uh, there's a lot more to it. And if you happen to take any of those DNA tests, and you find me in there, especially the third one. I wasn't too sure about the other two. Then um, the third one is my heritage. If you find me in there, and uh, you'll know there's a re there's a resource book. I put everything I found in there, all the different places, how I think it it aligns. <laughs> Finally. Um, I put on, I put on uh, the back of the book. No, I did put, I did put on in some of the advertising. Spoiler alert: all my grandparents' lines are verified. Oh, that's all for now. See you later. Bye.